All right, there he is. The man with a plan. <laughs> Not Stan. <laughs> Sean. These are, what are you here? Production manager. Production manager. We're Spirit Cars. Here we are. We got Brad's car. Yep. We used to do live at 1105, but this isn't live at 1105, but this can be a short. Yep. Well, there might be a long one. We may put it on the YouTube too. Where it goes, I don't know. We're doing analytics, but we're doing videos again. So there's the man you've been talking to on the phone behind <laughs> the thing. Production Hi. guy. You're our production guy. This has been a project and a half. No, this has been a double, triple project. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you're not going to see a modern Hemi in very many 34s. Definitely not. Some of the challenges we've had. I can recognize a bunch. Okay, we got headers here. That was a challenge. Yeah, had to clearance it for the headers. Yeah, we had to clearance it. We had to fit it in here. That was a challenge. We cut this thing, I don't know how many times, just to make it fit. Uh, we kind of notched the frame. You can kind of see up in here where I'm sticking my finger. We had to notch the frame to get the headers in. Um, oh, the AC. If you know anything about the modern Hemi AC, the compressor is like way underneath here and it's a big, big round compressor. Anybody notice what that compressor is from? What, what, what years are those from? 80s? I'm not sure. It wasn't here when you guys did that. Anyway. I got thinking, well, them old pancake compressors from the from the Chevy motors. Wow. That's what so that's a Chevy compressor. But once we put that on, now we had to reconfigure all the super serpentine belt. So that was a whole project right there. And of course this doesn't have a uh, just a cable for the throttle. No, fly by wire. It's a throttle position sensor. So you got that figured out. Yep. You were part of that process. Yep, I wired the whole thing. And then it's not a smart computer. <laughs> um, was it semi-smart? It, it actually didn't go too bad. It was it was pretty easy to get it all, the wiring for the engine and stuff done. It was tying it all into the existing stuff. Okay, so we, I mean, so it's not bad. Anybody can do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I like to say if it was easy, everybody would do it. So probably you're not gonna see a lot of these motors in 34s. Um, and it's not as easy as the modern like Chevy the computer programs itself it didn't do that although it, it is does somewhat uh brad wanted a, a four five speed i think it is right so what's our issues with the clutch uh nothing now before we had the wrong bore size in there so it wasn't pushing enough fluid to, we uh, didn't have the wrong bore size yeah we, we bought the, the whole set and it was perfect it was nice we got it in there it all looked pretty it works good Kind of, and you can hardly even tell. We had to notch the cover here just a little bit, but it looks like it belongs that way. We had to notch the cover here a little bit. I mean, this, this motor looks like it belongs in there. So we got it all done, and we weren't getting enough throw on the clutch. Yep, so we had to put a different master cylinder, same ones that are on there, different bore size, inch and a quarter. So we and put it- It's perfect now. So we, we put an inch and a quarter on, it had an inch and an eighth? No, it had a three quarter inch bore. Three quarter, okay. I kept trying to get more throw and said, oh, it'll work. That didn't work. No. So we got all the throw. It needed an inch and a half bore. Yep. It so now it pushes it fine. So just, just an FYI, if you're doing one of these on a five-speed, this is a five-speed, right? I believe so. Another issue we had. Were you here for this issue? See where the shifter is? No, actually, you guys had all that done, too. Well, that's not where the shifter comes on one of these things. This came out of a truck. The yeah. shifter... So it bolts it, it's in the transmission. But the shifter on a, is right about here. No. Yeah, which wouldn't work. It'd be behind you basically as you're sitting in the car. So we had to move the shifter from back here on the transmission to right here on the transmission. It works fine. I mean, it works. Yeah, it works it, great now. It works perfect. Uh, kind of what we're waiting on. This car is about ready to go. It's our upholstery is done. It's like, um, oh, another big issue. While here, while we're in here, we're waiting. Josh is getting glue. We ran out of glue. So yeah. I said, as soon as Eddie gets some glue, he can glue the headliner in. But the rest of the interior has already been made. Um, I remember Brad wanted a... Well, that looks like... So is that for the the back there? To come yeah, the it's the armrest for the, uh, for the back seat. So for the rumble seat. Oh, that's okay. So we got a rumble seat. So that's going to hide the battery. So we don't do a rumble seat on our 34. I don't know if anybody does a rumble seat on their 34. And you just can't call somebody up and go, send me all the hinges and all the stuff for a rumble seat on a 34. 
so we had to design the hinges had to do all that but we got it latched and got it all working good it's all looks dusty but it's all buffed and looking clean this is actually pretty close does it yep. start now yeah i mean like now it won't yep. run nobody over yep. let's finish the video by letting them hear it run do we got a uh if it's in gear do we we don't want to start it in gear throw a belt i really like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah it works well you gotta great. wonder when you when you totally change a serpentine setup on a car it was more than just like oh we'll we move it here i mean we had to redirect the way the thing worked so first uh, first startup scared <laughs> <laughs> so here's a one-off never to be done again modern i mean in the 34 <laughs> least why it's not a spirit but here you go it's brad's car coming really really close it's not it's going to be, it's a race between, I don't know, Brad is next yes. or is Eugene next? Eugene is awful close too. Brad would have been a little farther, but Josh had to go to Springfield to get that glue yep. today. So it'll, it's, it's all coming close. I think they'll be uh, leaving probably within a week, week of each other. So we, we think they'll be going within a week of each other and that's going to be happening like soon. Yep. So very good. So we got a video and it's kind of an update, not a, a broad update, but a, an update for, there we go. We've been getting cars out of here. Yep. But it doesn't feel like we're getting more room. No. <laughs> <laughs> there was really no room between cars, but there's there's still a pile of them over there. You can kind of see. But we're we're cleaning it out. Next video we might be doing up in the other other building where we're going to do our turnkeys. Yeah. Well, there you go. The end.